Welcome aboard. My name is Alfred Sembajwe. Today is me and I'm welcoming you on board. Thank you so much for subscribing and being part of this dialogue and conversation. Today we are going to talk about riches and wealth. Riches are man-made. Wealth is God-made. Wealth is given to you by God. I have cases in a point to give examples about wealth. The brains you have, the beautiful minds are all your wealth. If you're good at thinking, that is your wealth. If you're a great worker, that is your wealth. But now comes what are riches? Riches are those man-made. We can buy a lot of things. We can make a lot of things. All these are our riches. Let me tell you this. Wealth can buy a lot of riches. Because even land is part of wealth. It is God-given. But now see, riches cannot buy wealth. Riches can never buy wealth. Buying something means making it permanently yours. That even when you cease to be no more, it is permanently yours. So now, very many people can make a lot of riches, but a few people can attain and have wealth. It is good enough. It is very prudent a story. If you have some wealth in you to protect it, keep your brains and memory because they are your wealth. They are going to make you make a lot of riches in life. If you're a great thinker, that is your wealth. Keep your wealth because it is going to make you make a lot of riches. Finally, wealth can never be transferred. It is never transferable. On earth, it is only one place where we find a lot and abundance of wealth. That is a grave. Because in a grave, you will find a lot of great ideas that died. So right now, make use of your wealth. It is your brain. It is your power, your energy. It is your health. It is your body. Make use of it. My name is Alfred Sembajwe, and I'm a social worker.